My name is James Madison, and I have and I have been asked to answer some questions by the rich by the Richmond paper. Let's see what they have to say about the Constitution. Let's see what they have to say. Mr. Madison, you've been a successful attorney for many years. At what point did you decide you needed to get involved in the political arena? Well, when I saw when I saw the state of America and how it was doing. I thought that they could be able to use my assistance to help benefit and build a stronger country. Okay. Uh, next question, sir. How come you and others decided to replace the Articles of Confederation with the Constitution? What exactly was wrong with the Articles of Confederation? Well, when me and my colleagues first saw the Articles of Confederation, we already saw multiple problems with it. With it. One of the problems was with Shays Rebellion. Shays Rebellion was about farmers, was about the government taxing on farmers way too much after they have um, fulfilled their services in the war. So they asked, they asked the, Mas the um, Michigan government, Massachusetts government, if they could ask the federal government to be able to help them and get rid of the taxes on the farmers. That but the federal government said no because of the AOC. Okay. Um, question, what, what, what is your main purpose in writing the Constitution and how was it going to be different than the Articles of Confederation? Could you compare and contrast that, please? Sure. Our, our main purpose in writing the Constitution, our main purpose in writing the Constitution was to be able to build a stronger government than the AFC would be in the AFC. Okay. And, and how is it different, though? What does the Constitution have that the Articles of Confederation did not have? Oh, the Constitution builds a stronger government that will be able to last for much longer. And we have a Bill of Rights that nobody will be able to take away. The first right, the first right allows you to have the freedom, such as freedom of speech, freedom to petition, freedom to religion, freedom, freedom to... So you're saying they give you rights that you didn't have with the Articles of Confederation before? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, what do you think America would be like today if the Articles of Confederation were still in existence? Well, I would think that America would be far too weak to support a very to support a strong national government, and if things were the way how they are now, it would just end up chaotic. Okay. Now, now during your time period. There's really only two political parties, the Federalists and the Democratic Republicans. Now you and Thomas Jefferson were pretty much the founders of the Democratic Republican Party. Why did you come up with that? Why did you choose that side versus the Federalist Party of George Washington, the hometown boy? Well, the reason we chose, the reason we chose that is because um, we needed people that would be able to help us to be able 